Good morning, everyone. Strife Gal. We're playing some more Metroid Fusion. GBA Metroid game. And we are heading to the Arctic Zone, having just gotten the Varia suit, which will make us less... Uh, make us more resistant to freezing. So one of the big things with this game is uh, that it largely, at least at the beginning, kind of goes off this hub world where, so this is the main area, you can't go backwards, and each time you are given a new area to go to. In this case, uh, we're supposed to go to the Section 5, the Arctic Zone. As per usual, we start off with navigation, save, and recharge room. You need to download data for the ice missile upgrade, but as you might expect, the data room here is secured. Level 3 security hatches are yellow. <laughs> this feels the least reasonable out of all of the requests we've gotten so far from the game. Uh, I don't quite understand the functionality of what they want from ice, or why they would want us to get these ice missiles. We haven't been told that there's a specific enemy that is, like, uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, we haven't really been given a specific directive as to why we need the ice missiles, to my understanding. Just, we can't do ice beam, and we know you like ice, apparently. into the frozen section, so this would have been totally inaccessible. Um, now, this is one of those points where, because of the way that this works, okay, um, we aren't actually able to access this area until we already have the means to get around it. So while it is reinforcing why we needed this, there's some degree of... It would be really neat if it gave you access to it earlier, and then made it clear why you couldn't. Rather than just guiding you the other way. So give you two areas to explore, have you go into this one, have you realize, oh hey, these things all hurt me and going in there uh, hurts me. Like, in Super Metroid, the direction you get for getting the Varia suit is, oh hey, that place has weird heat shimmers and when I go in there I take damage. I clearly need a way to get around that. <laughs> now, this does kind of fit in with the same complaint that we've gone over several times, which, so I won't spend too much time on it. Um, that being the uh, fact that this game is very linear. 
Each of the individual sections has a lot of neat little navigation puzzles to solve. And I know that the second half of the game is much better about it. Like, it, it's at least more interesting. Um, cause it, because the map opens back up more. But... The way that it guides the player is something that is much, uh, that could be handled in a more organic way. Like, rather than going to the navigation rooms, it would be really neat, uh, or rather than going to navigation rooms to get the guidance from the computer, if they just did something like, had your computer, um, like, like, if it could only report on stuff that you had already seen. Just something simple like that. So, like, oh, hey, this area is full of gold. This is what that means. So, like, you had to go back to the data room to get to use that information. Something like that. That would have been a, another take on this that could have been a very different way to approach it. Same thing right there, by the way. Um, one way door. We could have gone this way first. And they could have just let us get to that spot and then hit a yellow door. But instead, they block it off two ways just to further enforce that you cannot go that way yet. And they don't really need to. This is probably going to be... Okay, so that's going to be coming from the other way. Let me get around that. I think we needed, like, super bombs or something to get around that. And this is also... We have to go all the way back around. I'm gonna be very mad if I have to go all the way back around. <laughs> I think I have to go all the way back around, because this is a speed. Yeah. Oh! Okay, I am less mad. They thought about that. going to require ice missiles. I'm almost positive. <laughs> okay, so that's going to lock that door behind us to force us to go right. So now our missiles freeze enemies, which I am not a huge fan of. Because it basically says, hey, that thing that you do to do tons of damage, it doesn't do tons of damage anymore. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it only freezes enemies that are strong enough. 
Which, in that case, would make it slightly worse as well, because it would only allow you to use the previous powers in scripted situations. Only against enemies that are strong enough to take it. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to the save room. So that we don't have to go through that section again to get that, uh... So we have to kill this thing. That's gonna take it to this, so we can freeze this. And now we can use speed boost. This is the other side of this that I was talking about, of it makes it so that the missiles that were the instant kill are now require two shots. So it actually takes more ammo to kill things now because of the freeze. Which I guess I was just talking a little bit ago about how it felt like we were kind of being... Like, there wasn't a good reason not to use missiles, so I guess, from that perspective, it's given us a reason to use the uh, primary cannon again, without getting plasma. Beam. And it encourages us to get something like plasma beam, because... I mean, I know I would prefer to have... Uh, <laughs> A shot that does more damage. Nope. So this must either be super bombs or plasma beam. Whatever that shadow was... Is that the security bot? Or a security bot of some kind? There's gonna be some sort of boss fight coming up here to get out, I'm guessing. Or another chase scene that's going to force us to go a different way. We don't have yet. Okay, this is when it... Okay, 
Okay, so let's recharge. Emergency in sector three. Emergency in sector three. I suspect we're gonna be going to sector three. Emergency in sector three. Emergency in sector three. Which I think we're actually gonna stop here. And we will pick back up next time, going to the emergency in Sector 3. <laughs> oh. Hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.